we come back to the same penguin populations as often as possible, trying to understand how those populations change over time. And to do that, we are basically counting penguin nests to understand how many penguins are in a colony producing chicks every year, and whether that number is going up or down. Although we're really far away and we're at the bottom of the world, we're sort of at the front lines of climate change. What we're interested in finding is, is if the abundance levels and population overall of a variety of, of penguin populations have changed. When we find Adelie penguins, you typically know that sea ice is nearby. And whenever you know we've seen sea ice declining or disappearing altogether, then we're seeing co uh, corresponding penguin populations, or adelies, decline substantially. The other species that we're really interested in are gentoo penguins. They're sweet as a button, um, and are they're just wonderful to work around. They're, more tolerant to, to, to warmer conditions that lack really heavy sea ice. We've kind of seen this as a case where you actually have a species that in the face of climate change and a warming region of Antarctica, their populations are actually sort of dramatically increasing. While we still have time and we still have penguins existing and not you know, going to extinction as a result of climate change, this gives us a really unique opportunity to identify locations within Antarctica that are really important for establishing marine protected areas. We need to be able to do science on the ground. Penguin science for a start, but science relating to all of the other species out here in the ocean.